Well, if you want to tap into the New Haven food scene, Stephen Fries is your man. He's earned the title of New Haven foodie for good reason. He writes a column for the New Haven Register as well as the blog on the food scene. And as we mentioned in the open, he's here to share two of his different recipes. All right, Stephen. All right, we're ready to go Let's today. Let's dive right in. We're making a Benny Brittle first, That's right? That's correct. And that comes from the uh, Charleston Receipts Cookbook, 60 years in print, and it's sold over a million copies and brings back great money to the Charleston Junior League, who gives it back to the community. I love that. And we talked about, you know, making sure you're supporting just, you know, wonderful books and cookbooks like this. That's right. Because the money goes to those nonprofit organizations. Yeah, and they're beautiful books. They're photos in there, it gives a history of the location, it talks about the history of food in those locations, and it's actually southern cooking history books sort of uh that I Charles love Tennessee. that. Yes. Let's dive in. All so right. what's the first thing we need to do? First thing we're going to do is we're going to take two cups of sugar. It's pre-measured. Okay. And we're going to put it right in here. Okay. And we're going to add three tablespoons of water. So why three don't you do that for me? Three tablespoons of water. Okay. Perfect. And what I've pre-done is I pre um, I pre uh, toasted the sesame seeds. Benny seeds is uh, sesame seeds. Okay. And we have a cup and a quarter of the pre-toasted. Oh, and those will be added in later. Should we and I'm going to switch spaces with you. Okay. So uh, that what we're going to do is we're going to melt this down. Okay. And boy, this stove works really, really quick. Doesn't it? it hey, listen. Nothing second rate here on Connecticut Style, buddy. It, it took longer <laughs> to do this in mine. I guess this beautiful stove, the induction cooking, uh, does well. Yeah. So we're going to make that, yeah, um, just... and then we're going to add tablespoon of vanilla extract and by the way uh, I Let's showed you this Let's talk about how you did your vanilla extract. What did you do here? All I did was take a bottle of the cheapest vodka, added three vanilla beans which I sliced, put them in there for about a month and it is the best vanilla extract and it's a lot less expensive than buying vanilla extract in the store. So cheap vodka, three vanilla beans sliced, put them in the bottle in a dark place and then after a month you're going to have the best vanilla extract you ever had. That's it? That's it. Okay, I like that. Easy enough. I can do that. Okay, now okay. what do we want to do? Now we're going to take these toasted Benny seeds. Okay. And how much are we using This here? is a cup and a quarter. Again, I've pre-toasted those to save some time. It takes about seven or eight minutes. All you do is put those uh, seeds into a pot and you just uh, toast it, making sure that you constantly stir it so it doesn't burn. Okay. And then you're going to swish that around. Okay. And let's just get some of the dry stuff okay, incorporated dry stuff. in there. Okay, perfect. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pour it on this pre-greased parchment paper. Wow, that's it? And we're going to spread it out to about an eighth to a quarter of an inch thickness, and then we're going to let it sit aside. Okay. And we're going to just... Uh, it smells it. delicious. It is, even. and uh, we've got some finished stuff over there that you can taste. Uh, okay. I know you had your eye on that. Yes, I did. Let's not tell everyone, Stephen. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, Stephen, what people may not know about you is you do write. Yes, I do. For the New Haven Register. Tell us about that. I write a uh, every other week column and sometimes even every week column on the different recipe requests that people write to me from res uh, restaurants that they've enjoyed, whether it be local or somewhere else. And uh, example, I was over at the... Uh, Taste the Nation a couple of weeks ago, and somebody right. enjoyed a recipe from one of the restaurants that was there, and I uh, sleuthed it out, and that will appear in my column. So anybody that has a recipe that they've eaten in a restaurant that they would like to get the recipe for, write to me, and I go and get those recipes, You're and it like will appear in my column. Like Inspector Gadget of all things food. That's right. So we're so just going we to let this solidify. That's it. So let's. Do, uh, should it be taking up the whole thing here? No, 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 no. This is just a, pa a pan that's a little larger than need be. So okay. we're going to leave this and let it solidify for about 20 minutes, and then we're going to break it up, and it's going to look like that. That's, so you don't put it in the oven? No. Nope. Oh, that's it? No, nope, that's it. Okay, I like Very that. So easy. on to the next recipe. Okay, this recipe comes from the Kansas City Barbecue Society cookbook, and we're going to take three bananas and peel them. Okay, here we go. And then we're going to take this brush and brush them with the lemon juice. This is uh, just a little lemon juice. You can use fresh lemon juice or the bottle. Okay. So we're going to peel, peel three these. of these. Yep. Look at there. These are easy to do recipes. Very easy. I like that. Yes, they are. Okay. And we're not going to use a barbecue today because we don't have one here. We're going to use the oven. But we're going to put one on each of these uh, pieces of foil. Okay. And we're going to brush up. them, and let's brush them. Okay. Yeah, That's a big brush. old brush over here. Okay. That's actually my barbecue brush. I couldn't find the smaller <laughs> one this morning. <laughs> Your mother would be so proud, Stephen. Here she, we go. She tried them over the weekend, and she loved them, by oh, the way. Oh, did she? And she went off her diet because they looked really good, and uh, they smelled delicious. I've been off my diet. Talking about food, we've got uh, that culinary walking tour coming up. Yes. On 
June the 12th. Yep. And another one coming up on July the 10th, which is going to be the kickoff for Social Media Week Connecticut. Okay. So the next two coming up is Ju uh, June the 12th. But break it down, Stephen. Tell people what the walking tour is because this is really unique. You develop this. People walk around, and what do you do? We have about 10 different stops, and we start off at the top of the Omni, and we get a great, great perspective of the city and where we're going to walk. And without giving the secrets away, we go everywhere from upscale restaurants to your small ethnic restaurants. We stop off for bread tastings, and they also get a goodie bag that's... Uh, filled with other Connecticut goodies. Okay, now we're, um, doing, we're going to take some brown sugar and sprinkle brown sugar oh. on the bananas. Okay, perfect. All right. See, this and, is something you can do with kids, and I like that. Oh, absolutely. You know, get the kids in the kitchen in the summertime. We're going to take some ground nutmeg. Okay. And we're going to sprinkle a little ground nutmeg on each. Nutmeg. Okay, about a minute or so left. We've got to be fast okay. here in the kitchen. Okay, a little cinnamon. I'll do the cinnamon. Okay, you do the cinnamon. We did a little nutmeg. And then take the allspice, all a little spice. bit. Okay, and then what do I do? Just sprinkle and it on there? Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to take a little bit of butter. Oh. Okay, yeah, we're definitely off the diet with this one. Okay, okay. a little butter on each. All right. And then what do you do? And then we're going to wrap them up, put them in the oven. Okay. And what, at what temperature this? 350. Well, today we're putting them in the oven, but you would put this on the barbecue. And for 10 minutes on the barbecue today, we don't have the barbecue, so we are just going to put them in the oven. Like this? Like this. Okay, everybody. You saw what we did, everyone, right? Okay. So, so make sure that you do it on the barbecue, because one of the nice things about this recipe is that it is... Um, not going to make your kitchen hot. And here's some ones that are done. And let me go get the you other get the, treat. I, okay, what is this other treat he's talk, you're talking about? What's that? Now, this is just not right. Look at this. This is amazing. And wow. we're going to take some coconut gelato. Okay. And scoop it on. Okay, so let me just push this out here. Okay. There we, this is called comfort food in the summertime. It is. You know? And it doesn't heat up the kitchen when you do it on a barbecue. Just, That's, put it on there? just put it right on there. Okay. That's okay. coconut gelato. It's wonderful gelato. I know oh. you you scooped that out at an event that we were at uh, recently. Okay. Listen, if you'd like to give this a shot for yourself, if you want to catch up with Steve and find out about his walking tours, come to our website, everybody, WTNH.com. Click on Connecticut Style and we'll have the link. Stephen, thank you. Let's just give an elbow. All because right. Our hands we're all sticky. sticky, everybody. Coming up next, we're talking with the Longworth Theater. They're here to talk about their gala. Stick around. Mmm. 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 Mmm.